Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember where we're at? We are in the second Solomonic uh, Proverbs. Correct. And I believe we just finished chapter 27. Oh my God, that's right. Okay. You are really impressive, sir. (laughs) Yes. I'm doing my best. You know, I I only got so much to work with. I'm Mm -hmm. using it all. You are. So. Well, good on you. Yeah. Um, And before we get too far here, Mm -hmm. I do have a shout out to make today. Shout it out. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a new patron. What? Yeah. Their name is David. 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 Yeah. And they uh, just signed up as a new patron. They did the free trial and then they continued on. Aw, thanks, David. Thank you so much for becoming a new patron, David. David, you're a pal. Really, really appreciate it. So much. I don't think we can ever, ever say how much we appreciate patrons because it really does. It it makes this podcast go. It keeps the podcast afloat. It does all the things for us. Yes. And we couldn't do this without you. At all. Thank you again. If you would like to be a patron and get access to episodes early. Like David does. Like David does. And ad free. Um, and also take advantage of our special Patreon-only episodes, as well as have the possibility of getting some merchandise, depending on what level you sign up for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up for as low as $2 a month and become a Patreon member. Well, again, thank you, David. Yes. You are the bee's knees and the cat's pajamas. Definitely. All right, so we did 27 yesterday, Mm -hmm. and then today we're going to be getting into Proverbs chapter 28. Let's do this. Okie dokie. Okay, well, um, before I hop into Proverbs chapter 28, I have a couple things to say. Oh. First, I just want to remind everyone that Proverbs is a collection of collections. That it is. And we are, as you pointed out in the second Solomonic Proverbs, which is the fourth collection within Proverbs. Okay. And um, I just wanted to say a little note about this. Sure. So the first half of the Solomonic, the second Solomonic Proverbs, which were Proverbs 25, 26, and 27. Yeah. They are characterized by many similes yes. and have a very earthy tone. Okay. okay? Yep. They are comparisons and moral lessons. So you only listed through 27, which indicates to me mm-hmm. that we're in for a change today. A little bit, yeah. Still in that second Solomonic area. Yep. But Proverbs chapters 28 and 29, which comprises the rest of the Solomonic one. Sure. They are characterized by more antithetical sayings and are predominantly moral and carry a religious tone. I see. So the other ones, and and I get that, like the other ones weren't quite as religious-y. Right. They were just like, air is oxygen and you should breathe it. <laughs> good is good and bad is bad. Yeah, yeah. And these are more about the wicked and the righteous. Oh, God. We did have some honey-lipped vixens that you should yeah. avoid. And, you know, we had that bit where you should seek out the, the wisdom and the prudent and the good and stay yeah. on the right path and all that. But these apparently are going to be... Way more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're going to be a lot. Got it. Got okay? it. Yep. So I just wanted to preface that before we hop in here. Okay. Okay. Yep. So Proverbs chapter 28. Okay. The wicked flee though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Um, I take that to mean like if you have a guilty conscience, you are ready to... Like, either be really defensive or to, like, take off running. Like, you know you done wrong. 
Okay. But if you know that you are in the right, you're, you're gonna good. St- you're, you're gonna good. fight it. Right. You know, you're right. gonna stand your ground. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, that's my reading. Right. Next, when a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. Sure. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Well, I think if you let your if. I think what they're saying is a strong ruler is important because like if you have a rebellious nation, obviously the ruler is not holding that nation together. Got it. And so there's going to be a lot more problems. There's going to be a lot more people claiming power than if this ruler is able to be strong and hold it together, I guess. Got it. But yeah. Like united we fall, divided we... Sure. Or wait, no. United we stand... Divided we fall. But, I mean, we made it through Trump, so I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) Well, if I might interrupt us, there was a note about this particular verse. Oh, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do that note here rather than at the end. Okay. Since we're talking about it and we're not really sure, like, what it's about. Definitely. Okay. So, the reign of Hezekiah, that guy, remember that that guy? guy? Yeah. He's associated with attempts to restore the union of Judah and Israel by political and religious means. Got it. Both of which proved unsuccessful. Sure. So he failed at that. Right. Or I don't know if I would say he failed. It just... It failed. It failed. Right. Yeah. Now, in the Septuagint, which, remember, is the original Greek translation... Yes, yeah. This verse is presented as a saying about quarreling in and of itself. Okay. Okay. And it reads, By reason of the sins of ungodly men, quarrels arise. But a wise man will quell them. I so see. that goes along with it, what you said. Similar, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. yeah. So good on you. You you had that. <laughs> you you did it good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. A ruler who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain that leaves no crops. So we like the so poor. So we like again. the poor again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got mm-hmm. it. Good to be poor. We should keep it like a tally. I know. I wish I could go like back. The poor and when they don't like the poor. I, I wish I could go back and make like a bingo board. Right? Yeah. So if, if someone's really into this, you know, you Feel like free. go back and just like make a tally mark for us, you know? Do do Christians how many like times the poor? We, how many times do we like poor? How many times don't we like poor? I said Christians, but we're not at Christians yet. No, we're, we're still, still in Judaism. the OT. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Do do the Israelites appreciate the poor or piss on them? Right, right. Just never know which day you're going to Yeah, who's winning? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, those who forsake instruction praise the wicked, but those who heed it resist them. Um, okay. Sure. Again, it's very black and white. It's very not... This doesn't feel overly religious to me. It doesn't. So far, it feels more the same. Yeah, it's it's literally the same things I've heard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. They're the same messages. Right. I... I wasn't giving my opinion when I was presenting those facts in in the beginning. Like that's just what it. Yeah, said, no, you know? I, no, I get it. Like I those are it. the notes I have. That's what it. Yeah. Like maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe we aren't quite there yet. Maybe, maybe they, we're we not were, there maybe yet. Maybe we're easing into it. We've only read the first four verses. Yeah, come on, okay. so come on. I'm, I just was putting it out there. I'm it waiting for the, the refuge and the um, you know, <laughs> refuge, fortress. Refuge, and, yeah. refuge, yeah. Evil doers. Here we go. <laughs> Evildoers do not understand what is right, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. Okay, there we go. Mm. Now we got some Bible happening. Yeah, there's the Lord. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. we got it. Evildoers don't understand what's right. I don't think that's true necessarily. Um, Just because you are an evildoer doesn't mean you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I think, I again, I, I, I know I keep coming back to this and I keep harping on it, but these ideas of evil and good... Mm-hmm. Are just way too Childish. simple. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not. They're not they're, rational ideas. They're not nuanced in any way whatsoever. No, no. Yeah, better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are perverse. So Maybe. we like the poor still, as long they, as they're they held good. To it, as long as they're as good. long as they're blameless. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But they they literally called the rich perverse. So well. Better the poor whose walk is blameless well, okay, okay. than yeah. the rich whose ways are perverse. Okay. It doesn't so it's mean not the rich are perverse. Right. And it's not, I guess they are kind of caveat on it. Better this than that. Yeah. So I mean, I usually prefer the rich to the poor. But, I mean, if hard pressed, uh, I'd If take, this one's blameless and that one's an asshole, then I'll, obviously I'll take the I'll take poor the, one. Yeah, right. Because he's blameless. Yeah. I mean, basically what that's saying is regardless of your money status... 
a good guy's always better than a bad guy. Yeah. And, and I'm like, uh-huh. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Go on. Right. Did you learn a thing? I didn't. Right. <laughs> a discerning son heeds instruction, but a companion of gluttons disgraces his father. Say that one more time. I'm sorry. A discerning hun. hun. <laughs> <laughs> a discerning son heeds instruction. Yeah. But a companion of gluttons disgraces his father. That's basically okay. like you hope your kids don't fall in with hoodlums or, you know, scallywags. You hope your kids make wise choices and choose their friends wisely. Sure. You know? Okay. But sometimes you're... Kids are going to choose their friends unwisely. and Yeah, you, it's not up to you. Yeah. So. <laughs> you, and, and sometimes I chose unwisely, and my parents tried the you can't hang out with them anymore, and yeah. I'm here to tell you that shit don't work. No, it doesn't. You cannot choose your children's friends. You know why? Because they are human beings. Right. They are people. Right. Now, you can say, hey, I know that you, this is your friend and you're going to hang out with them. But I'm not allowing you to go to their house because I don't like the way that parent is not present right, or right. allows things. They allow things in their house that I disapprove of. Sure. And that if you were not being such a dipshit that you would agree is not the way that, that you should be around. Right. So you could still let them hang out with them, but you should have the friend over rather than letting your child go to the other house. Right. So, sure. but you cannot choose your children's friends. You right. just can't. Right. Because they're human beings. Agreed. Whoever increases wealth by taking interest or profit from the poor amasses it for another who will be kind to the poor. What? What? Amasses it for another who will be kind to the poor. I don't understand. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Wait. Are, Hold on. So, are they saying that they're taxing the rich... So that the king can then be nice to the poor and take care of them? I don't because that would make some sense. Like, we, we do that here in the United States, right? We, we tax people to then offer services to people who have no means, right? And, and there's a lot of countries that do similar actions as that. Okay, but they're increasing wealth by taking interest or profit from the poor. Right. They're but, amassing it. Yeah. But then what was the last part of it? They're amassing it for another who will be kind to the poor. I'm not following. I'm not following. I, I, maybe I'm missing something yeah, there. Yeah, pass. Sure, pass. Okay. I mean, I know that was only the eighth verse, but pass. Yeah. Okay. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. Hmm. Even their prayer. Okay. Even their prayers. Oh, even are their de- prayers are detestable. Yeah. Yeah, I put the wrong emphasis. Okay. On okay. That. Yeah. So. If they I guess this is God speaking in this one. I well, it'd have to be, I guess, because you well, so you don't, pray to right, yeah. yeah. But if you turn a deaf ear to my instruction. Your prayer is shit. Okay, so if you don't listen to God's instructions, meaning mm-hmm. following the, the laws of God, I'm mean, assuming sure, then your prayers don't count. Yeah, is that basically sure. it? Okay, so then you're a trash human, and I hate you. Poop. Yeah, that kind of okay. That tracks. That sounds like the God we yeah, know no, that's, and that's hate. Yeah, no, that's very yeah mean <laughs> dickhead of God. So, yeah, no, yeah, that's kind of power starving. Right. Okay. Whoever leads the upright along an evil path will fall into their own trap, but the blameless will receive a good inheritance. Sure. Okay. Sure. If sure. you say so, I don't necessarily believe you, but right. okay. Right. That's saying that as long as you're good, even if you get tricked and swindled, it'll all work out in your favor in the end. And I'm like, I don't necessarily think that's always true. Right. I'm not saying it's not, can't be true. Like, sure, sometimes good things happen. Yeah. But I'm not going to say that that's 100% yes, the way it is. Yeah. These are a lot harder to, uh, I I don't know, there's not... Discern. (laughs) Well, they're not... They're not as, um, they're relying more on the God behaviors and the, I, I don't know. I think, like, and that, that's, it's, I think that's what maybe those notes were about. Yeah, which makes it so much more vague as to, like, mm-hmm. this is much more vague than what they were talking about before. Yeah. At least in the old, in the ones in the last few chapters, we've been able to, it's been specific things we can talk about. Right. right? 
this is so random. It's yeah. not. There's nothing to really discuss. It's just like, no, that was a dumb statement. That's you're doing black. Just stop. Just stop doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, again, we should come up with our own proverb. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chocolate always goes on ice cream. <laughs> I mean. Unless you are lactose intolerant. Right, right. right? Yes, like, exactly. That sounds like a proverb, I think. It, it does, yeah. The rich are wise in their own eyes. One who is poor and discerning sees how deluded they are. <laughs> they really sure. like the poor in this chapter. I'm, I'm liking it for that I'm sake. I'm liking it for that sake, yeah. When the righteous triumph, there is great elation. But when the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. Hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah okay. yes, right. that is true. You don't want to deal with the wicked. I hate it when there's a bad guy in charge. Right. Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Because God's going to be forgiving, obviously, mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. just announce and, and confess your sins, mm-hmm. except for that one time. there were. Didn't he just say a couple sentences ago that you couldn't do that or something? Like the person, I don't know. It was your prayers are shit. Right, yeah, your if, prayers are shit. Yeah. Because you were bad. Right, yeah, right. I don't know. But I guess I guess if you confess them first. It depends on the prayer, I guess. Right, right. It depends so not on how all you go, your prayers. And it depends on how you go about it, maybe. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, all right. Blessed is the one who always trembles before God. There's but that whoever fear. hardens their heart falls into trouble. But what about when God hardens their heart for them? That doesn't Does matter. That, Does we that don't count? Care. No, we don't care. Okay. Doesn't matter. I just I always thought that was a shit move when he did mm-hmm. that to Pharaoh. Yeah. Justice for Pharaoh. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that time when you're on the side of Pharaoh and you feel sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I don't know why that that cracked me up. <laughs> Hit my funny bone just right. Yeah, yeah. Like a roaring lion or a charging bear. Is a wicked ruler over a helpless people. Mm. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Yeah. Not false. Right. Yeah. That, yes, that one, true. That one rings true, <laughs> I guess. A tyrannical ruler practices extortion, but one who hates ill-gotten gain will enjoy a long reign. That's not always... They had good kings that didn't last long, I thought. It's Don't, true. Like, no, you're absolutely right. Right. You're absolutely right. But this is trying to say good leaders are good and they're going to good you. Right. Because they're going to last because good is good. So they got to make it all sound wonderful and great. Mm-hmm. Good is great. Great is but, good. But, you know, shit sometimes just shit happens. Yeah. You yep. know. Anyone tormented by the guilt of murder will seek refuge in the grave. Let no one hold them back. Oh. Damn. I see. I mean, not that I disagree entirely. If you murder. Now. Again, there are extenuating circumstances. Sure, like we're not talking uh, about murder by self-defense or right, anything like right, that. Yeah. But okay, sure. So like you just killed somebody, you're a murderer, you're, and you're tormented by guilt, so you're going to try to off yourself out of the guilt. That's what they're saying. No, I don't think they I don't think they the mean grave. that. I think they mean You're going to seek refuge in the grave. Right. But I mean, I think they mean you aren't going to go to, you know, heaven or whatever. You seek refuge in the grave. They're okay. saying don't hold them back from going ahead fair and dealing enough, with their enough, own guilt. Enough. Okay. All right. I don't think this has to do with no, that, the that's, afterlife that's at all. No, you're right. You're right. Okay. That, that's okay. out. Yeah. I, my opinion. Right. Whatever. Sure. The one whose walk is blameless is kept safe. False. But the one whose ways are perverse will fall into the pit. Also false. We, we've had that same <laughs> sentiment said like 1,500 times. Yep. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies will have their fill of poverty. I mean, they have it out for the sluggards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it, it's it is kind of true. true. I mean, so. yeah, hard work pays off. Blah blah right. blah. Yeah, sure. A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. I, I don't see. think that's fair. They're saying like. Faithful person versus wants to be rich. Like, those are two opposite ends. They have to be exclusive or something. Right? Like, right. why can't you be a faithful person but who also wants to be rich? <laughs> right, right. Like, who among us doesn't want to be rich? Be honest. Yeah. I right? want to be rich. Sure. 
I, I want to try it out. Right. It'd be see nice. See how it works. I'd love to not have to worry about, you know. A flat tire. Yeah. That'd right? be great. To show partiality is not good. Yet a person will do wrong for a piece of bread. A person will do what for a piece of bread? Wrong. They'll a do wrong do for wrong. a piece of bread. Partiality is not good. Sure. But person a person will do wrong for a piece of bread. Yep. Okay. I don't I don't really see how those relate they, exactly. They don't kind of I don't, I don't think. I don't think they do. I mean, you should try to be impartial sometimes. But not always. But not always. Right? Like, you're not going to be impartial when it comes to your family or your friends. I was going to say, like, I love a good gossip, but don't be talking trash about my kid or my man. Right, right. Right? Yeah. And so, if you're hungry and you need some bread, yeah. I don't might, blame you if you, you steal a piece. try to take that. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't. And I don't see what one has to do with the other. Right. Yeah, I don't I don't get that. Pass. I mean, whatever. <laughs> we commented on it. <laughs> the stingy are eager to get rich and are unaware that poverty awaits them. Hmm. I know I know some rich stingy people. Yeah, so do I. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that that one holds true. I wish it was true. Yeah. It should be true. It'd right. be nice if it was true. You but... know, mostly they just make the people around them. More poor. Yeah. That's how. That's what I've experienced, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because they're so stingy, it rubs off on other fucking people. Yeah, yeah. But whatever. Stupid. Yeah. Whoever rebukes a person will, in the end, gain favor rather than one who has a flattering tongue. Hmm. So I guess if you're honest, I guess they're kind of going for like the, if you're honest and, and tell people their flaws and their problems, that you're going to be good in the end. But if you... Flatter them, you're not. Okay, I'm going to say that this is poorly phrased. Sure. And that what they mean is it's better that you tell somebody they've got a booger in their nose. <laughs> right? Like, oh, sorry. Yeah. Then say, oh, no, you look lovely. There are no boogers hanging from your nose. Right? Right, right. Like, I guess. I'm going to say that they're like, you should just be honest sometimes. Like, sometimes. Yeah. Sure. But I don't think you should always be honest. Right. No, sometimes you just can't. You, you know? don't need to tell somebody, look, I love you, friend, but that makes your ass look big. I mean, if I had to be honest with all the people that talk about, like, their politics in front of me. Oh, my gosh. The, it wouldn't be a very friendly would, world that I live in. And you would ruin your livelihood as well. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. It, it would not be good. No. So I, I can't, by default, be honest with everybody. Right. Sometimes you just got to. Have a flattering tongue. Right. This world demands that. And you just do the best you can do. That's you know? right. Yeah. Whoever robs their father or mother and says, it's not wrong, is a <laughs> partner to one who destroys. I'm going to say it depends on your fucking parents. Really? You're going to say that robbing your parents sometimes is justified? Okay. I wouldn't rob my parents. Right. But what if my parents were pieces of shit? But what would justify robbing them, though? Like, let's say I'm a teenager. Yeah. And um, I need to rob them so I can eat. Okay. So for your own livelihood, because your yeah. parents are that. Like, maybe they're a sluggard. Or maybe <laughs> maybe one of them has, like, gambling problems. Right. Or maybe they're just neglectful, right? Yeah. Then Maybe they don't stand up right. Maybe... Maybe they walk crooked. They yeah. take the they wrong path. They take the path. left path instead yeah. of the straight path. Yeah. Yeah. I don't necessarily think that it's always. I guess, I guess if it was a matter of your own livelihood, mm -hmm. that is a matter of perspective and, and opinion at that point. Right. That's so, what I'm saying. Um, I don't think that's 100% always true. Sure. I'm not saying go out I, I, and rob your parents willy-nilly. All these statements throughout this whole book yeah. have been very black and white. No with No gray area. Yeah. And, again, here's another. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. The greedy stir up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. Mm. Mm, okay. I don't necessarily think that's always true. I mean, when you just, when you call someone a greedy person, I, it sounds like they're prospering because they're greedy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I don't have any guarantee. Like, you, you talk about people that follow the Lord all the time that are poor, mm -hmm. and you like those people. So I'm not I'm not sure how that all works out, Here's but it doesn't thing. sound like it's a sure bet. I know some greedy Christians. Yeah. And they are prospering and 
but they are also stirring up conflict. Right. So I'm just not sure what. I also know some poor Christians. Yeah. So who who aren't stirring up conflict? Right. So I mean, it, it can go either way. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Right. Those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Um. Depends on what you mean by wisdom, because I trust in myself. Yeah. And I walk in wisdom. I trust in my abilities to... To to gain wisdom. To gain wisdom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's an unfair statement just to begin with. I mean, you and I had an argument just earlier this evening, and um, it doesn't matter what it was about, but we were both like dead set on, no, I'm right, no, you're wrong. And so we both did a lot of research. Yeah. And we both learned some stuff. Yeah. And... We were both trusting in ourselves, but we also trusted in what information we could find because we like to learn. Right. We trusted our ability to find correct information. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't... Whatever. Yeah. That's dumb. Proverbs be proverbs. (laughs) Why proverbs (laughs) always got to be proverbing? (laughs) Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but Mm. those who close their eyes to them... Receive many curses. What if you're poor? Like, okay, you know how when you go to a restaurant or a store and they're like, do you want to donate to blah, oh blah, 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 right? I'm a dick because I always say no. Well, I don't have, sometimes I don't have fucking money to donate to people, you know? I don't want to donate am it I, at the cash register. Am I going to get a fucking, you know, lightning bolt in the head because I I didn't donate a dollar to, you know, whatever? whatever fund? Right. Look, I... I have causes that in the past I have contributed to and that should I be in a better financial situation that I would like to contribute to again. Yeah. I like helping people. I think we have a whole fucking list of things we'd love to contribute to. Yes, we do. And it grows all the time. Right. But I'm not going to give a dollar or whatever at the cash register. That's just not, I don't like being pressured into it. Well, and I don't, I haven't sourced where they're, I don't know what they're doing with that money yeah. for real. Like, you it's know, like, true. I'm sure it, most of the time it's going to a legitimate cause, but I don't know how much of it is going to a legitimate cause. And I don't know exactly which cause it's going to generally. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I don't necessarily think that corporate America has my best interest at heart <laughs> to make sure that my money is put to good use. So, I, I would agree. Look, I'm just here to buy a pair of socks. Leave me alone. Yeah. You know? Exactly. When I'm buying a pair of socks is not the time to hit me up for donations. No, I feel I would feel better about a donation that I sought out as opposed to one that sought me out. Exactly. Exactly. So. All right, last one. Ready? Yeah. When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. But when the wicked perish... The righteous thrive. But not until they perish, apparently. Uh-huh. Sure. So that's when they thrive. So we just got to wait for Trump to get hit with a brick. <laughs> and then all the righteous will thrive. There's this there's this guy I follow on Twitter. And I've been friends with him for a while on there. But literally, in almost every post he puts up, he just writes, is he dead yet? Oh, my God. And it's like, it's just, it's a constant theme. Like, in every one of his posts that he puts up on Twitter. It doesn't say whoever. Just, you know, and just puts it up there. That's kind of dark. <laughs> like, I, I feel guilty for finding that hilarious. Right, right, yeah. Because you should not wish death on people. No, no. He's just asking a question, though, you know? That's I mean, what the right always says. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> Why won't anybody ever answer my questions? Right, yeah. All right, that's so it. So that was Proverbs chapter 28. Sure as fuck was. All right, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with... Proverbs chapter 29, which will finish up that particular collection of um, Solomonic the Proverbs. second Solomonic Proverbs. Or, awesome. I'm sorry, the further Solomonic Proverbs. Right, 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 right. Okay. Well, we will see you guys then. Yep. Bye. Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. 
Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs>